Hi and welcome to Ambrosia. My name is Bhavya Desai and today is all about the top 6 Indian single malt whiskies in 2023. So since the time Amrut and Paul John have put Indian single malts on an international map by winning a lot of accolades and awards, a lot of other Indian manufacturers have started releasing their versions of whiskies and they have also become really popular in the international market. So in this video, I'm going to give you the top 6 recommendations that I have for the Indian single malt whiskies. And before doing that, please make sure that you subscribe to our channel, bell notification also, make sure that you keep it on. Let me know in the comments what you think. Do you think that this list is good or there's something that I've missed and what are your recommendations or your thoughts? Now, before we start, I must tell you that all of my recommendations are actually whiskies and Indian single malts that I've really tasted. And having said that, the first one is none other than the Paul John Kanya. So the Paul John Kanya, as they say it, is basically the, from the word Kanya from Sanskrit, which means a young woman. Now, this is also an inspiration which kind of comes from the zodiac sign Virgo and it really does not get more exclusive than this. This is an expression which Paul John has had for over seven years of malt, which is one of the highest in terms of age. Secondly, what's interesting is that only 1500 of these bottles have been made and the, and the ABV value of this is 50%. Now, the price also is justifying that exclusivity, which is at rupees 18,000. And that was the price when it was launched. Right now, I don't even know what the price must be. It must be through the roof because it's so exclusive. Now, next up is Solon Gold. Now, Solon Gold comes from Mohan Meccans. Now, Mohan Meccans are the popular makers of the Old Monk Rum. Yes, the same Old Monk Rum, which is one of the highest selling rums globally. Now, the reason why this is really very popular is because it is extremely rare to find. This is a small batch Indian single malt, which is priced at rupees 2000 roughly in Chandigarh. And what makes it special is that you can rarely get your hands on it. As I said, it is a small batch whiskey with an ABP of 42.8%. And what makes this really special is that it comes from their distillery, which is based in Kasoli, Himalayas, which is close to the Himalayas. And as, as I've always said that, you know, any distillery which is based out of there really has very unique water. And that water adds a beautiful expression to that blend, which makes it really special. And to be very honest, it actually has this hint of spice if you'll taste this, which really hits you very well, uh, which I genuinely like. Uh, so that is the next one, which is Solon Gold. Now, next up is the Amrut Spectrum 004. So Amrut Spectrum 004 is the new bold expression and the changing times of what Amrut also wants to do. It is really artistic. It is really innovative. And the reason why it's 004 is because it actually has a malt which has been aged in four different types of oaks or casks. For example, the first is initially it is done in ex bourbon barrels. Then it is put into the American oaks, which are of level three charring. Then after that into the ex Oloroso sherry staves and then finally in PX sherry staves. So this makes it really very interesting. As I said, it's really an expression of what they're trying to do, which is being innovative, being really bold. Of course, I've got the big box over here, but I'm not going to bring that out. Uh, but this is priced at rupees 13,000 and with an ABV value of 50%. Now, what makes this also very unique is that if you can get your hands on it, only 6,600 bottles have been made, out of which only 600 bottles were made available out of Bengaluru when it was launched. This, this is something which is very unique, very special. So if you can get your hands on it, then this is something which you surely get. So another Indian single mall that you should surely get your hands on is the Rampur Double Cask Whiskey. Now, Rampur Double Cask Whiskey comes from Radigo Khaitan, a name which you probably already might be familiar with. But the reason why it's called Rampur is because it comes from the Rampur distillery in UP. Now, this is one bottle in my collection which I don't have. The reason is because I gifted it to someone, unfortunately. But the price of this bottle is Rs. 7500 in Delhi. And this is extremely rare to find. The reason is because most of it is really exported in the international market. Now, the reason why it's called Rampur Double Cask, as the name suggests, is because it's 
it's matured in two different type of casts. One is the ex bourbon cast, and the other one is the ex sherry cast, and that's what gives it a very unique characteristic. Now the ABP value of this is forty two point eight percent, and this is something that if you're really interested in a good whiskey which is extremely small batch, then this is something that you should surely get your hands on, and that is the Rampur double cask whiskey. So the next recommendation is none other than Indri. Indri single malt. So Indri it comes from the house of Piccadilly Distilleries, and also the name is basically on Indri. Indri means the top five senses of our body, and also it is based on the distillery which is based in Indri, Haryana. Now, what's unique about this is that it is also called Indri Trini, as the name suggests on the bottle, which means that three different type of casks have been used to mature this malt. So one is the ex bourbon cask, then you have the wine cask, and finally the PX sherry cask, which actually gives it a very unique characteristic. Now the price of this is rupees fifty one hundred in Maharashtra, but of course this will vary in whatever state you are in. But one good thing about this is that this is much easier availability than most of the other ones which you see here, which means that it is not like there are only X number of bottles which have been made, which means you can get your hands on it easily. Also, the ABP value of this is forty six percent, and this is something which is really unique. If you like fruity, a little bit of fruit, balanced output, a little bit of hint of spice, and things like that, then this is something that you will surely like. So the final recommendation on the best Indian single malt in 2023 is a new entrant, and I, something that I tasted recently, and that is Gyanchan Indian single malt or Gyanchan whiskey. Now this comes from Divan Modern Breweries, which was established in 1961. The price of this is rupees 4,490 in Delhi, but currently. It's only available in three states, but it is going to come to your probably close states very soon because they have the plan to launch this in ten more states. This is at forty two point eight percent ABP value in terms of alcohol percentage, but this is based out of Jammu, which is from where the distillery comes from. And as I mentioned earlier, that Solan Gold is also something which comes from close to that. The water really is unique. So this comes from the water of Tavi River, which gives it a beautiful blend. It is really balanced. It Hits you with that nice little tinge of spice, something which is extremely smooth, a nice long finish. And if you think about the name, the name is inspired and dedicated to its late founder, which is Nivan Gyanchand. So this completes the list of the best Indian single malts or the top six Indian single malts that I recommend. Now, do let me know in the comments what you think. Do you think that these are the ones which should have made the cut, or there is something else that we should have put in, or something else that we could have added? And As usual do subscribe to our channel look us up on Instagram as well and very very important is until next time drink responsibly